Hi guys, salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about mechanics of deformable bodies. Ano? At ang ating magiging topic ngayon guys is all about simple stress at meron tayong inihandang sample problem para sa topic na ito. Guys, ito yung ating problem. No? So, meron daw tayo dito ng uh, 80 kg lamp that is supported by two rods AB and AC. The rod AB is uh, 10 mm in diameter while this rod DC is 8 mm in diameter and we are required to find for a distress in each of the two rods. So, alam naman natin guys na yung stress ay makukuha sa pamagitan ng pagcompute ng ratio ng internal load divided and uh, that of the cross sectional area and because the two rods are given a the diameter their area therefore are a available so makatwid yung problem para makuha natin ngayon yung stress acting on the two rods ay to determine ano kina kailangan ma-define natin ano yung internal load acting on this rod and this can be taken by uh, okay, finding or using the free body diagram of the lamp as shown. Kaya kung i-drawing natin yung free body diagram at pakikita ngayon how the forces will be acting at joint B, then we will have here okay, the following forces acting at the joint. Una, of course, will be the weight of the lamp from 80 kilogram mass. You multiply it by 9.81. Kaya meron tayo ngayon itong weight na 784.8 newton. Then we have here a force okay, acting internally on member BC and label FBC. The inclination of this force is the same as the inclination of the bar okay, at the vertical and for horizontal. Samantalang ito namang force acting on member BA is uh, given by the symbol FBA and the direction is inclined at 60 degrees with respect to the horizontal. If we are going to apply the condition of static equilibrium so that A, uh, i-apply natin itong summation of force along x equal to 0 and considering that okay, the rightward direction be positive, then we will be forming an equation so that F of BC multiplied by 4 fifth this being the horizontal component of BC minus FBA multiplied by cosine of 60 equal to 0 and uh, treat natin ito na siya yung ating equation 1 then we also consider the other equation of equilibrium that is summation of force uh, along y equal to 0 and assume natin that vertical force direct, that is uh, directed uh, upward is positive so that from here, meron tayong equation na a, the vertical component of BC which is 3 fifth of FBC plus the vertical component of BA that is FBA multiplied by uh, sine of 60 is equal to 784.8 and let us call this as our equation 2. So kung titinan natin ngayon, meron tayong ngayon dalawang equation at meron tayong dalawang anon. So tamang tama, we can now solve FBC and FBA using system of linear equations either by uh, substituting by eliminating okay, one of the unknowns so in eliminating one of the unknowns it's, it is up to you to uh, which uh, variable or uh, unknown shall be eliminated pwede eliminate natin dito yung BC pwede rin naman yung BA depende kung uh, saan ka mas gamay mag eliminate so, dahil ako ay gamay sa pag-add so, at nakita ko itong FBA ay magkaiba ng sign. Therefore, uh, I decided to have it eliminated. Ano? So, I will try to eliminate FBA by making these two terms the same. So, that if uh, the first equation will be multiplied by sine of 60 and the second equation will be multiplied by the cosine of 60, then we shall be able to eliminate FBA. So, that a, uh, by multiplying equation 1 by sine of 60 and then uh, equation 2 by cosine of 60 then we add the two equations we will have therefore the following so yung ating first equation 
when multiplied by sine of 60 will, will be equal to f of bc multiplied by 4 fifth multiplied by sine of 60 minus fba cosine of 60 multiplied by sine of 60 is equal to 0. Ito ngayon yung resulta when this equation is multiplied by a sine of 60. Then similarly, if this equation, the equation to natin will be multiplied by cosine of 60, then we shall have here a FBC multiplied by 3 feet cosine of 60 plus FBA sine of 60 cosine of 60 is equal to 784.8 cosine of 60. So target natin is eliminate these two terms so that this uh, can be eliminated by adding the two equations. So that when we add the two equations, you will find that these uh, terms will be eliminated, will cancel each other. Hence, uh, ang matitira equation will be the sum of these two being equal to this uh, term. So that we shall have here FBC multiplied by 4 fifth sine of 60 plus FBC okay, uh, multiplied by 3 fifth cos sine of 60 is equal to 784.8 cosine of 60. But uh, alam naman natin ano, na yung uh, sine of 60 is equal to and cosine of 60 is equal to 1 half. Kaya kapag uh, sinapicute natin, natin ang value ng sine of 60 at saka ng cosine of 60 dito sa equation na ito. Therefore, we shall have here FBC multiplied by 4 feet multiplied by the square root of 3 over 2. Ito yung sine of 60. Ano? Plus, FBC multiplied by 3 feet multiplied by 1 half. Ito naman yung cosine of 60. Equal to 784.8 multiplied by 1 half. This being also okay, equal to cosine of 60. And then uh, from here, we, we have now one equation okay, that involves FBC. And when we compute for FBC, we shall be getting the value of 395.2 in Newton. Now, pagkatapos natin masolve itong FBC, so we can now compute for FBA by substituting this FBC in either equation 1 or kaya dito sa equation 2. Ano? So, assuming that we shall we substitute that in equation 1, then we solve for FBA. Now, let us try to write back our equation 1 that is equal to FBC multiplied by 4 fifth minus FBA cosine of 60 equal to 0. But then, FBC is already computed at 395.2. Yeah, if this will be substituted here, this equation becomes 395.2 multiplied by 4 fifth minus FBA cosine of 60 equal to 0. And so from here, we can solve for FBA whose value is equal to a 632.4 in Newton. Now, pagkatapos natin makompute yung internal force acting on the 2K rad, then we can compute for the stresses by uh, applying the formula that stress is equal to the ratio of the internal force divided by the cross-sectional area. Area being already known, okay, coming from the cross-section of the rad. Okay, for AB, uh, for BC, since BC has a of uh, 4 millimeter, therefore we substitute that is 395.2 in Newton divided by pi times 4 square, 4 being now the radius. The resulting unit of this uh, stress will be Newton per square millimeter and that is equivalent to a megapascal unit. Then simplifying that value gives us a stress equal to 7.86 megapascal. So this becomes now the stress on the member BC. Similarly, we can find for the stress on the member BA by dividing the internal load on BA by the cross-sectional area. Area being equal to pi times 5 squared. This being having a radius or diameter equal to 10 millimeter. That is equivalent to 632.4 newton divided by 5 millimeter square and again the unit of newton per square millimeter is equivalent to a megapascal so that when this is simplified the resulting stress for a the ba is equal to 8.05 megapascal and so guys yun yung ating uh, first uh, sample problem for today 
that is uh, all about simple stress and I hope guys that sana ay uh, nasundan ninyo yung ating discussion at okay, nakatulong para sa inyo na maintindihan yung approach in dealing with this kind of problem. Again guys, thank you for watching.